What's good YouTube? It's your boy Cardi. Now if you are struggling, if you need a jump shot, if you're missing, if you want to never miss again, you are in the right place. Drop like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications. Just get ready to turn into a automatic sniper when you shoot the ball in NBA 2K24. Now right now I'm looking at 12 different things I have written down on a piece of paper. I got 12 different things here that's gonna help you turn into a shooter where you shoot 90% from three when you really try like me. I'm not gonna waste any more time just drop like on the video subscribe if you're new turn on post notifications and if i help you at all and you want to wait to subscribe subscribe whenever i help you out comment if i helped you out comment if you're a new sub i will heart all your comments respond to your comments i respond to everyone drop a like subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into this banger right now one of the most important things when it comes to shooting is going to be some of your settings okay so shot timing visual cue in my opinion i would go set point or push all right set point is where you basically get to the top of your release push is when you're pushing the ball forward then there's jump and there's release which is the last one this is the earliest second earliest third earliest fourth earliest so that's this, this the latest right so set point and push are the best ones in my opinion i use set point um a lot of people use push though i know that's like probably the most popular one push and set point are the best i use set point and don't miss okay so i wouldn't really worry if you use set point try it out just try those two out you could try all of them out if you can't shoot with either um my shot meter size is large for my layups shot meter location doesn't matter where is it at where is shot meter shot meter is off it's only for layups where is it bro where is that jump shot meter off right here so i only have my meter on for layups layup meter jump shot meter off you get a boost to the green window make sure you have your meter off you need to learn the jump shot cue you do not need to learn the release of the fucking bar when it filling up the bar you don't need to worry about filling up a bar bro if you want to be a good shooter you need to turn your meter up your meter off okay period you should never i never use it even when i'm trying out a new jump shot it's the first thing i do i don't even play a single second 2k25 my jump shot meter will not be on unless it's glitched so as soon as i load up the game i turn it off there's no need all right and it makes you shoot worse all right so yeah jump shot meter off all right y'all and do not change your jumper all the time okay i'm gonna give you amazing jump shots at the end of this video amazing three amazing ones doesn't matter if you're a popper doesn't matter if you're six foot ten six foot two doesn't matter seven foot i got a jump shot for you okay every single jump shot is usable at the end of this video doesn't matter what build it is every single one so what i'm getting at is don't change your jump shot pick one of these you can change the upper releases and i still wouldn't even do that but don't change it bro just try to master it try to if it's really like holy shit i'm never getting this then change it okay but i would stick to, tr to the bases at the end of the video i have some bases at the end of the video i'll show you stick to those bases bro the best bases in the game so if you want to have your best chance of making shots if you're missing with those bases it's on you okay it's not on the bases it's on you so then at that point if you really can't shoot you can maybe try changing the upper releases but bro i'm telling you keep the same jump shot don't change it all right something i'm going to talk about right here which is very important which people don't really talk about it is spinning your wheel just trying to get jump shot boost okay but it's jump shot boost okay so spin your wheel to try to get free jump shot boost obviously every single day your jump shot boost is one of the most slimy ways i've ever seen a company you know make money because at the end of the day if you want to be a good shooter you got to have jump shot i've never seen no one that's truthfully really good at this game never have jump shot boost so just never use jump shot boost i don't know i don't i don't see them um the reason is because you get you get if you if you've played a lot of games with no jump shot boost you know they speed up your jump shot trying to throw you off they slow it down speed it up but when you have jump shot boost first of all you get that less and you also have a bigger green window and you make more you green more shots more shots hit that green window there's a wider green window you just green more shots it's the only thing in the game that you have to pay for besides just upgrading your build where i would say you ha you need to have this i don't upgrade anything else i don't uh, only when i play wagers will i buy boosts for other categories and gatorade boosts jump shot boosts and gatorade boosts but only boosts that i'll be buying is jump shot boosts for for my gameplay i don't buy gatorade even though it is good as fuck it's way better than steals layups dunks blocks rebounding ball handling better than those but i will never you'll never catch me buying or paying you know 3500 vc for these bro no shot um this and in, in itself is enough 1500 i mean you look at the, the gameplay of me going crazy you should be able to see how important jump shot boosts are all right boys another thing we need to go over which is super important okay this has been important since 2k16 if you pull up the map okay you're gonna see something that says art of shooting gym right here it's right there yellow mark okay right here you're gonna pull up here all right how to know if you have a hot zone that is eligible to be in the art of shooting you have to pull up your player card all right pull up your player card scroll all the way over to your shot chart you have to be shooting above 55 percent from everywhere now if you look at all my zones i'm shooting 76 percent 
from that left corner. And this is all with me messing around. If you saw the clips at the beginning of the video, you're gonna see that I shoot a lot of crazy shots. Like I just shoot anything half the time. Like I don't even really try to shoot 80% from three on that right corner. It's just, that's with me messing around, fading, back fading, you know, fading, shooting from the back of the three point line, the back of the twos court. And I'm still shooting 66% from the top of the key. <laughs> so in order to do this, okay, you're gonna need to follow all the tips that I've given you but this is a very important one now if you look at my hot zones all of them is all of them are red i you have to be shooting above 50 to be a hot zone i think it has to be above like 45 just for it to be a hot zone which is going to widen your widen your green window you do not want it to be cold all right neutral is like if you're a good shooter like me neutral is even difficult on lower three pointers but once you if you have a lower three pointer and you start getting hot or lethal you're not missing it's all about your badges and your hot zones it's always been about your badges and your hot zones ever since 2k15 2k16 whenever they introduced them i was a inside point guard if you remember back to when you could uh be inside outside or balance come on in here i was an inside point guard with a low three-point rating but i had hot zones in all my threes so i was sparking that thing and people were like holy shit i was dunking on people like th this has been important okay now what i recommend doing is figuring out where you shoot the most okay i shoot the most from the left wing from right here i shoot the most from right here and right here all right so that's where i'm going to be putting most of my or i'm going to be putting my lethals okay so look all you have to do is make 10 shots in a row i think that it, i think all it is or like seven shots seven out of ten shots which i don't i'm not gonna miss a single one probably because i think the difficulty in here is easier anyways but this is all you have to do bro just make sure you have a hot zone all right and if you don't have a hot zone i will tell you what to do for that lethal zones are what you need i'm shooting i mean as you can see 10 for 10 or 20 for 20 or something like that i don't know do not waste your two upgrades that you get once a week every single monday on a hot zone from going to a neutral zone to a hot zone or a cold zone to a neutral zone you get two upgrades use them wisely okay use them wisely and come in here and all you have to do is shoot 10 of those shots bro that's all you have to do and it's not hard bro i rarely miss in here especially from a lethal zone i could probably shoot this shot a thousand times i'm not gonna miss it bro i mean it's just you gotta come in here and be able to shoot the ball and you'll be good have a hot zone be able to shoot the ball and you're gonna get lethals that easy all right now if you do not have hot zones that's what we're going to talk about if you do not have hot zones you come over here to the sunset park or okay i'm just going to be honest this place is a glitch it's a glitch when it comes to my points it's a glitch when it comes to badges it's a glitch when it comes to hot zones if you need anything at all to your my player vc included this is probably one of the best places to go okay come over here to the sunset court i have a method that i do okay but i'm going to talk about another couple of things that are going to help you um shoot better before just on my way over here to the sunset court okay this is out of the game stuff all right the first one is a monitor okay if you do if you play on a big ass tv it's going to be hard for you okay you need a one millisecond or less response time monitor one m backslash s one ms response time one millisecond response time or quicker um uh, monitor okay or and also have an ethernet if you can ethernet cable is going to help you have less delay and a wired controller is also going to help you with your delay okay those are the three most important things i would say outside of the game okay and i really think those are very very important if you're playing on a big ass tv it's going to hurt all right monitor is going to help you more than any of these tips okay and i understand people can't afford it i was also playing on the tv up until 2k21 so i know you can still shoot good with a tv with a bad delay i get it you're just not going to be able to be the top of the top with the tv you might be the top of the top of the dudes with the tv but not you're not you're not being me on the tv that's for sure when you get over here to the sunset court all right those are the just keep those in mind when you get over here to the sunset court as you can see i've only played three people i what i do is i play 5-0 this dude is a let's see six foot ten demigod all right so is rotten rodney i go to rotten rodney view opponent he is a six foot six demigod these dudes dunk and play defense like there's no one's business okay and I'm matching up, and I'm 6'7", okay? I, I'm not a center. I'm like a slasher. I just did that for the weight. But, I mean, look at my opponent. 5'7", Disco. 5'10", Alkins. I mean, Wowzer. 5'8", Gru. I mean, you could put me at center, and I'm getting every rebound. But then I got a 6'10", Monster, and Rotten Rodney. And I'm not even guarding Disco. I'm on Gru, the 5'8", Warrior, bro. You know what I mean? So I'm on the five foot eight warrior. It's easy. It's easy buckets every single time. I can shoot over his guy every single time. It's. I'll show you. I'm gonna load in, and we're gonna. Well, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. So first play, I like to try to bait them into shooting. Okay, every single defensive possession, I'm either going for a steal or trying to bait them into shooting. So let's say I need a hot zone in the right wing. If you have a high enough three pointer, you could literally just pull up in their face every single time. It's gonna be open. I right, if it's if your three pointer is probably above like a 80, I would say. 
when you start getting into like 78 on a popper or a lock then it's like okay you might need a little bit of space but all you gotta do for that is call a screen so right now i'm literally just trying to get him to shoot and most of the time if you have any type of block you're gonna get that block which is gonna give you the cap on the my points which is 15,000 my points which is gonna help you upgrade your player same thing bro come over here to this wing i can literally just shoot in his face every single time i'm not missing that shot ever it's not happening it's very simple so like i said if i'm not going for a steal i'm going for a block that's what i'm going for every single time just for the my points because you can get 15,000 my points maxed out just for throwing five lobs just call for a screen shoot right over his face every single time that's all you have to do okay if you need a hot zone somewhere that's all you have to do that and that's not even a lethal zone i'm shooting from i'm shooting from a hot zone so if you need a lethal zone or you need to go from a neutral to a hot zone you can do that with a high three-pointer you should be able to do that look i'm just going for blocks every single time once again especially with heat check and sharp takeover shooting right in his face green it doesn't matter bro he's not contesting it that's all you need to do just come here and shoot over five six grew and you're good go for a steal or go for a block on defense and you should be just fine all right i'm running up the court again it's 12 to 2 literally can pump fake literally pick up the ball and just shoot it right over his head every single time that's it okay so if you need hot zones come to sunset park that's it i don't feel like you need to know that you don't need me to green another shot for you to understand all right so let's move on all right so now we're just gonna have some gameplay in the back and i'm gonna go over some other important things so as you know when you're dribbling you have three little adrenaline bars down at the bottom of your feet or wherever you put it everyone knows that as you start losing those that's how you become more tired more and more tired when you are shooting the basketball if you have no adrenaline bars and your stamina is low you will notice your jump shot slower you will notice that it's almost impossible to green especially if you're not that good at shooting as is so my point here is don't over dribble okay don't you can i mean if you're messing around i get it but if you really want to win a game you cannot over dribble all right unless you have sharp takeover you have takeover then your stamina goes back up pretty quick but you do not need to waste all your adrenaline bars you do not need to waste all your stamina when your stamina is low and your adrenaline is low it's going to be harder to shoot the basketball you're going to get slowed down jump shots it's just going to be a smaller green window it's super hard to time those shots because i know like i i'm i'm pretty good at time my shot down to like per perfection i'm not good at it like if, if i needed to hit at a perfect rate every single time i'd probably shoot 50 percent, which is pretty good if I only had like one millisecond of uh, wiggle room to get inside that green window, I could shoot 50% from three for sure. Whenever you're tired, that's basically what happens. It makes your green window so damn small. You got to be damn near perfect. And I can green that shot. If you're struggling to shoot already, you're not going to be trying to shoot that difficult shot. So don't over dribble. Don't waste your stamina bars. Okay. That's something that's really, really important. All right. Now we're going to talk about one thing. Now with this build that I'm on, all right, as you can see in the bottom right, I got a 92.3. Okay, that is going to get me a lot of badges. So if you have a lower three-pointer, all right, try to go for a higher midi because then you're going to get better badges such as like green machine. All right, let's, let's go to my A-tier badges. You're going to get higher green machine, which in my opinion is an amazing badge, one of the best badges in the game. If you have a low three and you hit one green, that's all you need. One green, you're not missing again. That's all you need for with green machine. That's If you have like a 77-3 and you have like an 88 midi, so you get green machine, gold, and you hit one th you hit one midi you're not missing a three the rest of the game that's all you got to do is hit one shot green one shot okay um it'll also if you upgrade your midi you want to have all these badges max by the way so if you don't have these max you need to go to the sunset park and max these badges s tier let's see if there's anything uh limitless range I i'll just go ahead and put a four sitter on that uh, if you need to um let's see what else in here blinders is a good badge that one as you can see i'm not really struggling to keep that one up asian threes is also important blinders dead eye these three right here are very important these three asian threes dead eye um now in my opinion uh i wouldn't fade threes too often it's just it's a difficult there's it's a difficult shot okay if you are struggling to shoot i would not be trying to fade threes uh, if you know your jump shot really well and you know your pull up, then you should be good. But fading middies, if you have a high midi, is very, very easy. That'll help you get all your badges up quick. Blinders, just won't let you help. It won't help Asian threes because that's just for threes only. But it'll help all these badges. Green Machine, if you're fading the corner, it's going to help uh, Corner Specialist. So look, bro, where, where is Corner Specialist even at? Open Looks is another great badge. As you can see, I have maximum overdrive on that. That is going to get at 86 midi. So say you had a 77.3 and you had a low midi. At 86 midi, you would have got Open Looks Gold, which is a very good badge, bro. Open Looks is a very good badge. Guard Up is a good badge. I floor set this because I think the progression is actually messed up with it. But it is a good badge if they're not holding their hands up, you know. I rarely shoot midis, but Midi Magician is also a good badge. It's one of the, it's the badge that's going to make you never miss midis ever if you spam uh, fading midis. A tier, I think we already went over green machine. 
Uh, I don't even see. Where's catch and shoot? Corner specialist, if you fade, I would definitely go to the corner. That's another badge that would just help you out. Catch and shoot is good for spot ups. But max, make sure you have these badges maxed, okay? May, if you have your badges maxed, your meter off, you have hot zones, and you have good jump shot bases that I'm going over at the end, I don't really know why you would miss or how you would miss. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't know. So I think you will be good after this video. I hope so. Comment that right now if this is helping you. Comment. I need to know. Because if you can't shoot with all this, Brody, uh, you know, <laughs> we might be out of luck here, right? All right, now, that's all of the tips I got for y'all boys. So let's just go ahead and get into the jump shots, all right? Let's get into the jump shots that are good. Right now, as you can see, I have this jump shot equipped called Chick. All right, favorite jump shot of all time this jump shot transformed me into like a good shooter into like people give me zen accusations constantly my friends are telling me my three-point percentage is in zen territory like where they think i'm fucking cheating that's how insane i'm shooting i mean i'll tell you right now this is one this is probably the my most favorite jump shot in 2k history it's probably this one. This thing, I, do, I don't miss with this thing. I do not miss with this thing. All right, so let's load it up. As you can see, it is Tracy McGrady, Sadiq Bay, Oscar Robinson. All right, now, with this jump shot, your release speed is going to be max, okay? Your animation blending is going to be 21% Sadiq Bay, 79% Oscar Robinson. Some people, you can get better ratings, okay? You can, if you want better ratings down at the bottom right, you want a higher defensive immunity, higher release speed, you can change the Sadiq Bay up. You don't even, you don't even really need it. As you can see, all you need for this jump shot is 87. All right, so if you have an 87.3, this is for you. But if you have a 92, I could get even a better jump shot. But I just know this timing so well, it would just be wrong. It, it, it wouldn't be right for me to change it just for a better shot attribute grade. I don't need a better shot attribute grade. I already shoot 85% from fucking three. I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? This is the best jump shot I've ever used. I will swear by it. This on set point is just, oh my goodness. I don't miss with this thing. I don't know what it is. This on set point, best jump shot I've ever used, period. Okay, this is for six. You have to be at least six five, under six ten. Um, now I can. You can make this. This is the crazy part. If you have a popper, you can make this exact jump shot. It's just a little bit slower. Okay, but if you like it, you can make. If you have a. If you have a build with a lower three, the good part about it is you can make this exact jump shot. All right, so I'm gonna be giving you a small guard jump shot for like Patty Mills. I'm gonna give you a lock and popper jump shot, which is next. But my small guard Patty Mills, I got a little glitch for that. Not a glitch, but just uh, a little hack, in-game hack. Um, that just makes it easier to time so and it's gonna be the same speed so look this is the jump best jump shot I've ever used bro write it down do what you got to do insane all right now I'm gonna go on to my popper and show you the exact replica of this jump shot where you don't need the 87 three I if you have a, not a higher three you can change this upper release if you want but I swear by this jump shot exactly how it is I'm not ever touching it for the rest of the year I'm not gonna touch it so yeah all right let's go into the get into the next jump shot all right boys so we are back and as you can see this is the exact same jump shot it's just got a little bit slower and when you're actually shooting with it but Jarrett culver is the same base as tracy mcgrady damn near i'm sure the green one does a little bit smaller but i mean it's just i have a 78 all you need is a 78 three for this and that's what i have i have a 78 all right 63 midi and i don't miss so um, this is what I use for my popper or my lockdowns with a lower three-pointer. This jump shot is insane. Good spot up jump shot. Release height A+. Plus. It's a little bit slow, I will say that, but uh, if you're open, you're, you're greening it. So I'm not really too worried about it if I'm greening open shots and I'm good. All right. So now we're going to move on to the Patty Mills glitch. So now here is the jump shot I use on my, or my small guard. Um, as you can see, Patty Mills, Oscar Robinson, Colin Sexton, okay, 83 Oscar. But you will see my release speed is still an A+. Plus. I, even with my release speed being all the way turned down, it's still an A. At right here it's an A+, plus, right here it's an A+, plus, right here it's an A+. Plus, I, but it doesn't really change how fast it is. You can have it like this. It doesn't really change how fast it is. It just makes it easier to time. Like I know that looks slow, but when you're actually in game, bro, this right here is nothing. Like, it just, it's still a fast-ass jump shot, but everyone that uses Patty Mills, it's uncontestable. If you glitch it onto a tall build, it's even more insane. But you can't contest on it because it jumps, its feet jump so high and it jumps out so far, you're not contesting it. Um, that's why people use it, but it's very hard to time, all right? It's very hard to time because the time stability is not that good. 
but if you turn down the release speed it will help you massively all right massively so this is my small guard jump shot but that's it boys drop a like on this video comment if i helped you and subscribe if you're new because i post content bangers streams wagers all that type of stuff so drop a like subscribe if you're new make sure you hit that noti bell because i need teammates all the time you never know bro you might win a giveaway or some shit but i'll see y'all boys in the next video i love y'all from the bottom of my heart for all the support love y'all peace